Growing up as kids, we used to pass this exact spot where this magnificent mansion stands now. As children, this house was just an uncompleted building. Yeah, we saw it for over 10 years. It was uncompleted, abandoned. I think it had a gate or something. And when we asked about if the house really had an owner, we heard that the owner of the house started it but stopped halfway. And I I didn't visit the village for like five years throughout my university and throughout my youth service and coming back to the village last christmas i saw this mansion oh my god this is not just a mansion it has a sit-out spot like a mansion with a sit-out spot buildings in the city are still learning work yes they're still learning work it has a sit-out spot and apart from that it has a boys quarter it has a borehole which people in the village get water from and all of that but the big but is that the owner of this house doesn't stay in the village yes he doesn't stay in the village as at when i made this video the owner of the house was not in the village here stands another huge mansion in the village from the look of things this mansion should have about six rooms nothing less than six rooms it's it can pass for a hotel yes like some hotels are basically this yeah and this is a mansion in the village in the middle of a jungle yes surrounded by bushes surrounded by small village houses and huts and all of that and the owner of this house probably comes back to the village only during christmas and stays for a week or two and keeps this house under lock and key for the remaining 50 weeks in the year yeah because they are 52 weeks in the year so this person literally keeps this house under lock and key for over 50 weeks in the year here's another mansion in kianwere shops like this one has shops the owner of this mansion stays abroad and this mansion was built in less than a year like i literally screamed when i came back and saw this mansion during christmas also here stands another mansion obviously under lock and key or maybe maintained by a relative who stays in the village fully fenced and all of that good stuff this mansion here is the house of the catholic priest of my village yeah and on the other hand here's an uncompleted mansion that has been under construction for years and also here's another uncompleted mansion that has been under construction for years but it's almost complete at this point i think it's literally remaining just painting and probably fencing and this house is going to be good to go here lies another uncompleted mansion surrounded by bushes and all of that now the question is why do people especially Igbos yeah why do Igbos stress themselves to get these mansions built in the village when they just stay in the mansions for only two weeks in a year or even less sometimes they don't even come back why do they go through pain why do some of them build these mansions in years why do some of them build this in months why do some of them invest such amount of money when they know that building this in the city is going to fetch them a lot of millions yearly in this video i'm going to be giving you reasons why some of them do this and i'm also going to be letting you guys know about my opinion whether i think this is a total waste or whether this is totally sensible so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Hey people, what's popping? Kilo Shelley, again in name, mate. Let's go there. Okay, wonderful people, beautiful people. It is your favorite Achalugo, your favorite Adi Woma. <laughs> there are Gizel on the microphone. If you are new to my channel, I am Chidera Gizel, a Nigerian lifestyle vlogger living in Oweri, Imo State. Welcome to my channel. So today I am currently in the village. Yay, yay. And before this clip, you must have seen a clip or two clips of different mansions in my village. And I 
I'm here to talk about mansions in Igbo villages. Yes, the reason behind it, the logic behind it. I'm here to give my opinion about whether it's stupid to have a very big house in the village and you come back to the village only once in a year. So number one reason why Igbo people build mansions in the village is we learned a crucial lesson during the war. During the war, many Igbos were forced to come back. There was mass exodus before the war of 1967, the Biafran War. Many of them were forced home and many of them had investments in the north, in the south, in Lagos and all of that. And after the war, they lost everything. There were people that were very, very rich before the war. But after the war, they became paupers. They had literally nothing and they didn't even have any house in the village. So it taught so many Igbo people crucial lessons that whenever you are rich, it's called something, it's something called Akurulu. Like your wealth should reach your father's house. It should reach the village. Having all the money in the world is unnecessary if you don't have anything in your father's house to show for it. The second reason for mansions in the village is old family houses. Like now, if a man has a father, the father must have built a house during his own time. But as time goes on, when the man grows, like 30 years later, 40 years later, obviously that house that the father or the forefather built is going to be old and you can't keep on living in an old house. And if you're going to be building a house during your time, you're going to build something that is modern. If you have the money, like now mansions are raining, like people that are doing the doings, like the Oba doings, the water go, yeah, people that are doing the doings, they have money for mansions. So if you have money for a mansion and your father's house is already old then i see no reason why you should not build a mansion to replace your father's house in the village as long as you have the money then another reason why Igbos build mansions in the village is for prestige like some people believe that if you don't have a house in your father's house you're not man enough although it's not true because it's not everybody that has the money for that but so many people do it for the prestige so that when there are burials in their house when there are weddings in their house when people come to their village they are going to see something really massive and mind-blowing like imagine doing a wedding and the environment of your wedding is mansion 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 in water go yeah it's going to be so so massive so it's for the prestige yes and it's also a form of competition Decision. like now you're yeah, a man and you have a cousin or somebody in your own that has house they're going to try to compete and level up build your own house and join the competition against your own so that is is that the first reason or the fifth reason i don't know i think it's the fourth reason why Igbos build mansions in the village yeah these mansions for some people people like the Oba doers yeah the people that did the doings in Oba. for them building their mansion in the village takes like no time in three months you can see a big mansion in six months for some people it takes years like there's one of the mansions i showed in this video i'm going to put a short clip of that mansion i knew that house when they first started building it as a kid but at some point the project was not continued i don't know maybe the person didn't have a lot of money then and all of a sudden i came back last christmas and the mansion is already massive and i'm coming back in september now and the mansion is looking better than it looks during december so it takes some people years and it takes some people months some people build mansions why some people build bungalows yes it's not everybody that builds big mansions for some people a bungalow is enough they may have mansions in the city but they believe that they just need to keep a bungalow in the village because they just stay for a few days or few weeks in the village so they don't need to build a very very big house and nobody will be using it yeah, so i need to point out something most of these people that build these mansions they are not selfish many of them give back to the societies i can say for um, for sure that the people that have mansions in my village almost all of them if there are 10 mansions in my village about eight of them they dig boreholes with the mansions like when they are building the mansion when they are completing everything that's a way of giving back to the society because the people in the village they have issues with drinking water stream water is not neat enough it's very very dirty and the places where there are pure drinking waters or spring waters those places are so so far and so so exhausting for people to go to and many of them do so many philan um is it philanthropistic abi they do many things like philanthropists some of them bring bags of rice to people in the village during christmas some of them come with oil they help people some of them take children of people that are not really well to do and they take them to the city and they train them so that's just it so i feel it is not a wrong idea personally i feel it is not a wrong idea to have a mansion in your village because if anything happens you always have somewhere to run to and there's no place like home so you guys this will bring us to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video and you learned a thing or two from this video do give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel share this video share this video anytime somebody wants to come and argue with you or make any annoying statement about people who build their mansions just share the link to them what i go yeah and 
hopefully 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 i'm going to be seeing you in the next one for now bye kiss kiss love you they dig ball holes and that's a way of giving back to the society because you haven't just covered the screen abby many of them when they build their mansions when they are done building their mansions they build but they, they dig ball many of them for people so that people are distracting me these people that build mansions they just